Hello and welcome back, Hunters of Milk, to another Monster Hunter World video. Now, this is going to be my advice on the best pod ammo, or slinger ammo, for your slinger against flying monsters. And that is going to be something a lot of people know about, and that's the flash pod. Now, you can only carry three of these, but there's a way around that that I'll talk about later. But the key is, this is the very best item for things against Rathalos, Kushaladora, uh, any of those flying monsters that are up there giving you a pain in the ass, and you can only hit them on the ground. It's also great for when these sorts of monsters are fleeing, particularly Elder Dragons back to their lair. You don't want to go into that lava pit. Just knock them right the fuck out of the sky. And not only do you stop them from fleeing, not only do you bring them to the ground, but you will put them in a knocked over state, letting you land some big free damage, and we all love that. So how do you keep a steady supply of these going? Well, there's a few steps and they're all easy. First, you go into your menu, into your crafting list, scroll over to the trap section, number 37, I believe that's where your flash pods are. Just hit triangle and make sure it is set to auto craft. The next thing you want to do is get the hang of using the item loadout system and making sure that you have 10 flash bugs in addition to those three flash pods you're allowed to carry. You can hit the options button to go into the loadout menu and you can make a preset loadout that will automatically refill those after every hunt and empty out the crap that you've picked up in your pouch back to your box. Then, final step, you want to go over to your botanical garden and you want to always have these crafting until you have about 100, 200, and you feel good about your stock. You can also stack these and do more than one at a time. These do not unlock immediately, but they do unlock pretty early into the game. Just make sure that you're going into your optional quests and seeing the ones that upgrade your botanical garden. You can get more slots as well as more stuff to craft, as well as new fertilizers. And the catalyst, normal catalyst, is the very best one. They will both take off one bar and let you get four of these every quest you do for each slot that you have them in. So you won't be using these in every quest, but in certain quests you will use a lot of them against things like a Rathalos or a Kushaladora. And it's also worth mentioning that that item loadout trick in your item box, sort of like an equipment loadout, it also saves your radial menus. And it's worth doing that. I like to set them up for battle, utility traps, and buffs at the moment. And it's always good to have access to you know, your traps, your buffs, and your battle equipment at a moment's notice. And it takes a little bit of uh, time to set up those radial menus, but it definitely pays dividends in the quality of life when you're out in the field. And you don't have to be messing around with that little horizontal bar. There is a way to set the horizontal bar as well but I found that it resets itself very quickly as you start picking things up in the field. So the radial menu is the way to go, and getting back to the real purpose of this video, the flash pod is the way to go if you're fighting flying monsters. When they get up there, when they start to run away, hit them with one of those, and then start hitting them with your biggest attacks. So I would again recommend setting up your item loadout to have the 10 flash bugs and the 3 flash pods, the maximum you can carry, and setting up your radial menus to have those flash pods on a cardinal direction to make them easy to access. You're really only going to need one at a time, but you can start with three, and then if you've set them to auto craft, you can click it in your radial to make one, and then click it again to equip it, and then you're ready to fire. So you can carry a maximum of 13 of these effectively. So I hope you enjoyed, hope you found this helpful, and I hope you stay milky.